Place value and rounding, grade 4. Large numbers are made up of many digits. The value of each digit depends on its place. Numbers contain as many places as you can imagine. You already know how to tell the value of ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. The next places after those are ten thousands, hundred thousands, and millions. The value of places increases as you move from right to left. The value of each place is ten times the value of the place before it. Multiplying by ten for each place, you can see that the value of each place contains one more zero than the place to the right. To find the value of each digit, multiply it by the value of that place. You already know how to write large numbers using numerals. To make them easier to read, use a comma after each third place value going from right to left. Using number names, this number is 8,762,115. Using expanded form means showing the value of each digit in the number. To compare large numbers, look at the digits in each number from left to right. Here, the thousands digit is the same. The hundreds digit of the first number is larger. So the first number is greater than the second number. For this comparison, look carefully. The first number has digits in five places, but the second number has digits in six places. The first number is less than the second number. Many times, you don't need to know an exact number. Rounding helps you find the approximate value. First, decide which place you will round to. Then, look at the digit to the right of that place. Ask if this digit is equal to or greater than 5. If the answer is yes, round the target digit up. If the answer is no, round down. 5 is equal to 5, so round the digit in the hundred thousands place up to 9. Don't forget to change all the other digits to zero. The number is about 900,000. When you repeat large numbers or multiply them, they get even larger. Imagine that you can pick up 1,324 gold coins in a video game each day. How many coins would you pick up in six days of playing? Use expanded form to break the large number down by place value. Then multiply each value by the factor 6. Add the values to get the final product. That's a lot of coins. To solve the problem another way, line up the factors according to place value. Multiply each digit in the larger number by 6. 6 times 4 equals 24. Carry 2 to the tens column. 6 times 2 equals 12, plus 2 is 14. Carry 1 to the hundreds column. 6 times 3 equals 18, plus 1 is 19. Carry 1 to the thousands column. 6 times 1 equals 6, plus 1 is 7. Understanding place value can also help you divide large numbers. Imagine you have 138 coins in your video game. You want to use the coins for five quests. How many coins can you use for each quest? Divide to find the answer. Use expanded form to break the large number down by place value. You know that five goes into 100 20 times. Five goes into 30 six times. Five goes into eight one time with three left over. Add to find the quotient. For each of five quests, you can use 27 coins. Three coins will be left over. Let's look at the division problem using an area model. How many times does five go into 100? 
20 times 5 is 100. Subtract 100. How many times does 5 go into 38? 7 times 5 is 35. Subtract 35. How many times does 5 go into 3? 3 is less than 5, so it's the remainder. The quotient can be found by adding the values at the top of the chart. 138 coins divided by 5 quests equals 27 coins with a remainder of 3.